Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to go through the content that we got today and also kind of lay out some trading methods and some stuff that you guys can do in the current market because right now, this market is pretty high, right? There's a lot of people that have coins. We have SBCs coming out every day. High rated players, the SBC fodder is up. Uh, and a lot of you guys are wondering, how do I trade? Um, there's, a, I'm can't, I can't figure out how to make coins right now. So I wanna help you with that on today's video as well. But again, I wanna cover today's content first because there's some interesting things to talk about with today's content. First things first, we got a fantastic SBC today, the 81 plus double upgrade. This is one of our favorite upgrade SBCs as somebody who likes to do a lot of these to try to pack promo cards. Uh, when they put SBCs like out like this in promos, we love it, right? 81 plus double upgrade. We're getting two players that are above 81 rated. Um, now they made the requirements a bit harder. You know, we just came out of team of the year where we saw those 25k pack SBCs that required rares, um, but they didn't require as that much chemistry. This one requires 50 chemistry, so it's a bit harder to actually get the chem for this SBC. And I'm actually wondering right now how many coins the rare golds are going for. I wonder if these are going for anything um, above like 800 coins at all. Are these going for anything above like 800 coins? I want to know if these gold cards are inflated at all. If they're not, that's awesome. But I would I would imagine that they are a little bit. 750, I don't see any rare golds at 750 right here. You know what, let me just let me just choose one. Oh, there was a rare gold right there. How much is uh, how much is the guy like Jaka, right? Jack is going to be the type of guy you put in this SBC. How much is he? Wow. Okay. So these, these golds are really not up at all, which is nice. This is very, very nice. If you're wanting to spam some of these upgrade packs, uh, if all these non rares, or excuse me, if all these rares are kind of like um, around the 750 coin range, if, we're, if all these cards are in this range, then let's go, man. That's a GG. That means you can probably do one of these packs really cheap. Uh, I, I know it takes 50 chemistry, which is a bit annoying, but. They're going to be cheaper to craft than Team of the Year's were. Now, obviously, these cards aren't Team of the Year quality, right? The ones that are in packs, the headliners. But you get a chance of doing a live item. Uh, so I'm probably going to drop some coins on these SBCs. Probably somewhere around like 500,000 coins on these SBCs. Trying to pack a headliner and also try to craft some SBCs. Because I am going to be doing this Dama Traore. And my whole point in not doing him yet, even though the high-rated gold prices are going up and up. My whole point in not doing him is because I was waiting for these SBCs to come out so that I could put some money into these, these SBCs, possibly pack a headliner, and also get some high-rated cards that will help me do the Adama Traore SBC. Speaking of other SBCs that we got today, we get a flashback Diego Costa, and they absolutely juiced his card from what his other cards are in this game. I don't think he has any other specials um, besides the UCL. And they boosted his card today. 99 strength and 99 aggression. This card is based off of the 2013-2014 season. Uh, and the other interesting thing about this card is there's two interesting things. The first thing I want to point out is they upgraded his skill moves. And the first thing that I think about with this is if they can upgrade skill moves on the fly like this, why don't they do this more often? I think this is the second time we've seen this in FIFA, right? The first time we saw it with the Santi Cazorla who last year had 5-star, five 5-star. Five this year, they had, down, had him down at 5-star, 4-star. But for his objective card, they gave him 5-star skills again. I think that's how it was. But now we have this Diego Costa card. They upgraded him from 2-star skills to 3-stars um, for this card. And that, again, just, it just makes me think, what other opportunities do we have in this game for cards to get a skill uh, move upgrade or a weak foot upgrade? On, on the fly like that. So that just tells me that EA can do stuff like that on the fly, and that means it should not be an excuse in the future for other cards not upgrading quickly and stuff like that. That's that's in my opinion. They can do this, they can put this SBC out, and boom, it's there. So that's something that I like to see, and it's cool, right? It's cool. Hopefully we continue to get more of these things. You know, once every once every couple weeks, throw a card out like this, a flashback with a skill move dif difference or, or a weak foot that's been upped or something like that. But for heaven's sake, EA, don't downgrade a weak foot or a skill move for any special card that you put out, even if that's what the card was in the past before they've moved into the future. Maybe it's a flashback to a prior stage and they, and they had less skill moves then. Don't downgrade them then. Always keep it on the higher end, all right? That's just, just a note that probably needs to be said. But this SBC does actually not cost that much. I think Footbin says right now this SBC is 77K on, on, uh, on PlayStation. So right around the 80K range, two team of the weeks with a La Liga player and an 84 rated squad. If this is just, 
This is probably an SBC that I'm going to craft after I do Treore, just because this looks fun, man. This honestly looks very fun. I mean, you might want to craft Lala if you're going to be doing upgrade packs, um, but I think I might go after this card. It's going to be pretty easy to craft. An 84 rated squad, two team of the weeks. I've got team of the weeks in the club. So after I start hitting up some of these 81 plus double upgrades and get Treore, I'm probably going to go for flashback Diego Costa. And the other thing is, it's interesting. He's only out for three days total. So that means that he is going to expire on Thursday, I believe. Yes, yeah, so he'll be out for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and he'll expire at Thursday, 6 p.m. UK, which is kind of interesting to me that they made this SBC so short uh, and that they also made the 81 plus double upgrade SBC out for eight days total. So this is going to be out until Sunday. I think it's going to be out until Sunday. Did I do my math right there? No, it's going to be out until Tuesday. It's going to be out until Tuesday next week because it's eight days. Duh. Do the math, Nate. Eight days. This SBC is going to be out. So Tuesday of next week, this is going away. What does that mean is going to happen next week during the, the headliners promo, the second week? Um, I don't know, but it does mean that these upgrade packs will be out. You'll be able to pack headliners from the first squad and the second squad through this upgrade SBC. So that's cool. That's nice. And we like that. So that's kind of today's content. That was, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of content, right? We didn't get a daily SBC like we have been getting for the pack SBCs. Uh, but again, EA continues to drop daily and, you know, good value, solid content every single day. The player moments, Lala, that's a cool card, right? It's a flashback to last year almost with Lala getting so many special cards. Is that a good value card? This one might be the least good value card out of all of them, in my opinion. Um, that they have released so far during this promo, but still it's not bad because there's not a lot of French right backs and that's a really, really solid card that you can use in your team for a long time. So if you're doing this SBC, I don't blame you. Um, but since all these cards are coming out, uh, we have had some uh, market movements in the upward trending direction because of this. And again, we haven't got a ton of supply, right? There's no more lightning rounds. It's not the weekend. So these high rated golds are still staying very, very high. A lot of people are asking me, can I invest in these? Stay away. That's my opinion. Stay away. The only thing that I would do is if you see, and I hope one of these comes, I hope the daily headliners challenge SBCs continue to be put out. And I hope EA juices the packs on those. I really, I, I don't think that they will, but I hope that they will, because what that would do is that would lower some of the high rated uh, SBC cards, make some of the SBCs cheaper. And it would also introduce some more uh, supply for these headliner cards, which a lot of people are interested in getting and getting for their squads, putting in their teams and investing in. And if these guys got some supply, that would be nice, right? Now, we're gonna talk about these a little bit more in tomorrow's video, most likely, uh, where we're looking at Thursday flips, what's gonna happen on Thursday. Thursday's a big, big day for this game with uh, these cards getting packed during rewards, these cards going out of packs soon after that and a lot of people wanting to buy them. So that's going to be a big day, and we're going to uh, digest that all tomorrow. But in the meantime, if we do get more pack supply SBCs, watch the prices on these cards um, because there's so many people that are wanting to buy those on Thursday, and there's so many people, even my, I said it myself, that there, people are going to want to buy them on Thursday, and there's also going to be people that know that people want to buy them and that the prices could drop on Thursday. So we might be talking about a possible time to pick them up before Thursday with some panic selling because again i was just hoping these cards would get supplied more and they're really just not getting supplied that much but enough of the content for today you're going to see me doing some upgrade packs on stream for sure and also trading man because i got down to 2.2 million coins after team of the year with all the upgrade packs that i did then i did almost i actually ended up doing over 2 million coins worth of upgrade packs during team of the year and it was well worth it for the stuff that i got back with the two untradeable contes Obviously, I had to submit one. The Allison as well in my squad. This is a objective team right now. but um, And then the other SBCs I was able to craft. So I've been trying to trade and get some coins made back. And I made, I actually was all the way up to 2.7 mil when I was full liquid earlier today before I started trading. Just a quick run through on some of the stuff that I'm trading with right now and why it's been working for me. This kind of VARO I bought Sunday night on stream for 860, sold it for a million coins last night. That was a GG. I bought this for 200, I bought this for 510, 515, I bought this for 99, and I got on bid, so that really didn't make any money there. And I think I got this at 800 as well. So two of the icon flips here, not so hot. The rest of them, uh, I did make, you know, this is probably a solid, that's that's 90K profit right there on that card, I made 10 there. 
Um, so there's a hundred and then like a hundred and probably 30 ish thousand coins between those two, maybe 150 K ish actually from these four icons right here. So honestly, not too bad. When the Diego Costa SBC came out today, I actually went out and I bought, how many do I have? Seven. I think I have seven Trippiers. I got these all the ones with the shadows. I paid a couple extra K for, but I bought seven of these guys for like 60 K like 58 to 60 K with a couple of these at like 65 cause they had shadows. Um, and they really didn't go up that much, but I really, I saw multiple tweets about people wanting to play Diego Costa at CDM. I saw multiple people talking about playing this card at CDM. I didn't know if they were serious or not, but it was big enough influence, influencers in the community that I figured I would pick up a few of those Trippiers. I'm going to probably keep those for a Thursday flip because I think more people are going to get this SBC done before it expires and want to try them out. So I'm curious to see what the reviews on this card are. If you have used him, drop uh, your comment down below. If you've done this SBC, uh, tell me how he is for you because I'm interested. I think I'm going to craft that card again, but um, I was just interested by that SBC today. But again, stuff that you can do in this market right now to trade. It is not easy. That's for sure. It is not easy, but I want to show you some things, especially on the icon market. And you can honestly trade icons if you have anything over 200,000 coins. There are a lot of icons that you can trade. You have to know their prices, but there are a lot of icons under 200K nowadays. Some of the babies, right? Uh, like maybe a baby Ian, Ian Wright. I think he actually might be over 200K. He's like 250, but there's some baby icons out here in this game that people still use and they get bought up quite frequently. Like Michael Owen, for example, this card, I think is like 150,000 coins. The baby Michael Owen, 160 maybe. And you might see this guy pop up at like 135 or 140, right? All, you don't need a huge undercut on a card like this to be able to flip it uh, because there's not as much tax. And that's something new that we haven't had in years past with icons is that this card is right now on the market 159,000 coins where in last year's FIFA, because they required icons for SBCs, this guy would have been 300 to 400K and he would always have people below him. Like his price would be held up by the fact that he was required for an SBC we don't have that this year. So people can use icons a lot easier in this year's game uh, because of these price ranges and because they're not required for SBCs. But again, these baby cards are out of packs. So it makes them very interesting to trade with because a lot of times you'll see them get listed up uh, on the 59th minute for a small undercut. Seems to a small undercut, but it's also a very profitable undercut. So using footman graphs, looking at open bids, and uh, just kind of f figuring out some 59th minute icon sniping filters, right? You know, especially if you're on a low budget. Another a filter that I like to use on the icons that are on a low budget is like a max by now of 200K, uh, a minimum by now of, of like maybe 111 or so. So you can weed out some of the really low ones. Uh, and, you know, that's not going to get to the 59th that fast. But uh, if you throw in some nationalities, like let's say France, right? You can get Perez, you can get Baby Makalele, you can get Treze Gay. There's a few icons that you can get if you go French. You can get in some of those. You can go English as well. Uh, again, I just looked at uh, Owen. You have Skulls. You have Lineker. Um, Shearer as well pops up there. So there's plenty of these. You can use the nationality filters to help you out. Or honestly, just learn player prices. Watch the open bids and get on some of those bids. And again, trading with icons. I said a 200K budget is enough. But when you get up here to these higher budgets, look at this deal. I'm going to show you a deal on a, on a Michael Ballack in, uh, icon card today. Prime Michael Ballack went on bid earlier today. This card sold at 1.35 mil, which is kind of around his range. He's a bit low right now, to be honest. He's usually around 1.4, 1.45-ish on the weekends. Look at the deal that this guy got today. This deal happened, believe it or not. This guy got this deal, 200,000 coins under his lowest selling price at the time. These two were up on the market at the exact same time. This one right here got bought in a, you know, a crazy bid. This was in the middle of the day. This was like 7 p.m. UK time, an hour or two after the content had dropped. So there's a lot of people on the game, probably a lot of people trading, just more people that could have seen this card and he still went for 200K less. You never know what's gonna happen, right? All you need is one person on the companion app to get that stupid bidding glitch and they don't know how to fix it. And then boom, the person that's bidding on this, the other person slides through with the card. It's a GG. So this was a crazy deal that I saw today. And I'm sure this happens more like way often than I see it myself, right? Because I can't watch every card in the game. Can't watch its price, especially if it's an open bid. 
So that's what I would recommend for you guys doing right there. There's a little undercut on your shin. If I saw 280, I would pick it up because I know I could sell um, right at just over 300K, like maybe 305, 310 on the upper swing of his price fluctuation, and that'd be some decent profit. But watch some of these icon prices, no matter what your budget is. If you have 200K, go for it. Watch some of these cards. They're really, really great to flip with. Um, people list them up cheap all the time. Of course, there's open bids that you can get on as well. Just kind of learn the prices. Here's another open bid that made big time money today. This Baggio, Prime Baggio, 806,000 coins. He sells for like 880K. That's kind of his going rate. 875, 880 is where he's usually at. That's a heck of a deal right there. The man probably just made 40,000 coins, uh, maybe like 35 to 40K on that card right there. So again, watching some of these prices, no matter what your budget is, at least if you're you're around 200k, you can uh, mess with some of those. If you if you don't have 200k, there's plenty of low budget trading methods out there. The silvers, of course, people are doing league SBCs to get packs. Excuse me, to get tradable packs to try to pack headliners. So prem silvers, um, La Liga silvers, basically any league that has a league SBC is definitely a go. And then one thing you can do, and I think this is kind of an overlooked method, go watch a video or, or just type in on like Google or. Um, you know, go on Twitter and just search like FIFA 20 marquee matchups, right? There's tons of people out there that have marquee matchup predictions. Uh, and you'll see which teams are kind of rumored to be in for this Thursday's uh, week of marquee matchups. One of the teams that's uh, rumored to be in this week is Roma. It's Roma versus Lazio. And right now, Roma Golds, I think, are what? 650? 600? Looks like there's 600 coins for most of these, right? Ooh, smalling for 600, that's, that's probably a deal, right? But um, you can probably win some of these cards for like 350 or 400 coins and flip them for that 550 to 650 range, depending on what the card is. And of course, like boom, there was, there was a, a right back right there, probably sells for a little bit more. Uh, so that's another example of things you can do. The non-rare golds are honestly a, I hate to say gold so many times, but the non-rare golds are a gold mine in terms of lower tier trading. Just because they don't get as they don't get packed as much from promo packs. If there's a 50k pack out in the store, that's all rare players, and people love doing SBCs, right? So let's go check Lazio as well. People love marquee matchup investing. People love this stuff. How much are Lazio golds? Lazio golds look like they're about 750 or 800. Bundesliga, uh, Schalke, and how much are Schalke golds? Because I think these are inflated as well. Looks like they're maybe 700, 750. So those are up a little bit, and then Bayern Munich. Some of these big name teams, their golds are always rare just because there's not as many low tier ones. Uh, so uh, Bayern golds are, wow. Bayern golds are 1.7K right now at the moment. So if you can uh, get a little sniping filter right here, maybe bid on some of these cards. Um, this is definitely a way you can make coins on some of those lower budgets. How about Dortmund? We'll just check Dortmund because some of the, sometimes the golds for these, these teams, they just don't have as many lower tier guys. Boom, Dortmund Golds are 800 coins and it's basically good sets, it's the rares. So non-rare Dortmund guys are probably going for like a thousand maybe, maybe 900. Maybe you go look at like FC Barcelona, right? Let's go La Liga Santander, let's go Barcelona. How much are Barcelona Golds going for? Boom, they're higher than 800 coins. 900, they're higher than 900. So you can make your rounds on a low tier budget going around some of the, um, the goal. I think actually they might be in marquee matchups right now for this week. 2,500 coins for Arda Turan. Wow. Wow, these cards are actually 3K. Boom, 2,800 coins for this. Let me check if they're in marquee matchups. I think they are. I don't pay attention to marquee matchups that much, but again, if you're on that low coin total, if you're talking like 50K, 60K, 70K or under, this is the kind of thing you guys can do. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not in here. Wow. But maybe, oh, there's maybe a Barcelona player required. For, there's got to be a Barcelona player required for somewhere because those cards are up at 2 point whatever K. So maybe you go through some marquee matchup. Uh, like maybe Real Madrid players are up right now. Sevilla players might be up. So just look through some of that stuff if you're on a really, really low budget. And then trading with informs as well. Pick some rare special cards out there and uh, just go out and kind of watch their card, right? I know we have a Mara's inform this week, but Mara's is road of the final card. could be one that you go and you check the price of and you watch it and you monitor it. You buy on the low, sell on the high, use flipping graphs to help you and stuff like that. It's, it's a grind time right now. But the thing is, it's not hard, I guess, to trade in the market right now. You just have to find the right place to go because these icons are working perfectly because people have coins and they're willing to spend them after two big, well, we're inside of one right now, but after team of the year, 
and during a promotion that is pack based and that um, they're trying to suck a lot of coins off the game, but people still have coins is what I'm seeing based on the amount of sales that I get, um, the amount of stuff that I see sold per hour and just the prices that people are willing to pay for some of these cards. So trading in this market, you find your niche. You know, I found some of these icons right here that work for me. Uh, find some that work for you. Watch out for panic selling because of SBCs and stuff like that. And uh, you'll be able to make some coins on the market at the current time. So if you enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, and on Twitter, send me your best 81 plus pack pulls. I would love to see those always. I'll be sharing mine with you too as I get them. And subscri uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.